Hi, welcome to Local Hamster. Today I'll be viewing this Hutu VR glasses. The model is HT-VR001. In the box, it had a quick start guide, a microfiber cleaning cloth, and also these foam pads. Yeah, these are optional because in case you're worried about this scratching your phone, you can always use the foam pads. And as for the quick user guide, it's pretty straightforward, uh, easy to follow. I'll just browse through the contents quickly for those who are interested and curious. Like I mentioned, the sponge pads, you can place it to grip on the foam more or just prevent it from scratching your foam. And here's on the on the back end too. How to wear it, how to place it. You know, there's a number of ways to adjust it, which I will show shortly. And yeah, that's about it for the user guide. Now, here is the actual device. It's not any bigger, not any smaller than the other VR goggles I've reviewed in the past. Now, for this front piece, this part does not come off, but this part, you can slide. If your phone tends to overheat, you can always just have this open using more like an air vent. Next, on this side over here, this comes out. So this is uh, the holding tray for your smartphone. And for, for me, it's able to hold my iPhone 5, my iPhone 6 Plus, my LG G4. It can even hold my iPhone 6, 6 Plus with the case too. This part over here is spring loaded. So this part grips onto my smartphone. And there's a notch right here to, to basically tell me where the middle point is. So the top side, this is Velcro for user comfort adjustments. There's a Velcro strap on this side here and here as well. So all three sides. And for the back piece, this is more of a like a harder type of plastic. Um, and I've been using it for a while. It's okay. I kind of wish that they would have used a, a more padded on the back and over here, but that's fine. And as for the optics, it has, it's very good quality, very clear optics. And I can adjust the pupil and the focal. So let's see how this it moves. I'm trying to the right hand side here. I can move left and right and adjust the distance too. So it'll be more towards me. If I want it further away, I just press this. With a phone in the tray, I'm still able to plug in my power cord. The headphone is exposed. In case the headphone port is on the top, this whole part is exposed too. So I don't need to worry about that. And after it's plugged in, we're inserted into this, not this notch back in this Hutu VR. On this side, there's ventilation hose. I can also run the cables through it. I'm going to demonstrate with my iPhone 6 Plus because I got a case on it already and I just don't really feel like moving the, removing the case. The bar, center bar, I'll just align this with the notch I mentioned earlier on top over here. So once it's aligned, then I got it centered. It's browsing little star. Let's try Shark Dive. So VR. I'm just slide it into this tray. Good optics, nice and clear. I don't see any sharks yet. All right. I don't think I get to see them feed, but it's pretty cool. Now let's talk about pros and cons. The device is very easy to use. It works with smartphones that's five, like the iPhone 5 or the iPhone 6 Plus, or even my LG G4. The tray is spring loaded, very easy to use, very easy to install the phone. All the ports are exposed, so if I want to use headphones, I want to use the, the power cable while I'm watching my content, either on, on either side, left or right side. There's a, over here I can open it for ventilation, or if I'm trying to use augmented reality, it exposes the camera. And more importantly, the optics, very clear optics. I can adjust it, the pupils. Uh, I can make it further, going left to right for added user comfort. I like how there's Velcro on the straps. What I didn't quite like was the, the hard plastic, harder, not too stiff, but this plastic on the back over here, kind of wish they used the padding for it. And the part that touches my face, this piece, is very easy to clean. It is also comfortable. So with that said, I don't really have anything negative to say about this besides just this one piece, and I would recommend this unit. Well, thanks for watching this review of the Hutu VR glasses. The motto is HT-VR001. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching Wolf Hamster. Bye.